Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with Smart Tips. In this video, we are discussing the questions from NBHM PhD 2021. This is the question is from section B, that is, this question is from true false section. And in this video, we are going to discuss these three questions question number 31, uh, which is from linear algebra, question number 32, which is from sequence, question number 39, which is from series. And this is the lecture 8 video of NBHM PhD 2021 solution series. Those who are not watching the previous lectures, I am requesting you to uh, watch the previous videos. I will share the link in the description and also here in the i tab. And before going to solution, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel. If you like the content, then please give a like to this video, share with your friends, subscribe the channel. And if you have any doubt, then leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's start with question number 31. Question number 31 says that let a be a real n by n symmetric matrix with a distinct eigenvalues that is a no repeated eigenvalue then and let b be a real n by n matrix that commutes with a then these three statements are given uh, we have to choose whether these three statements are true or false this is very interesting questions and the questions based on some powerful concept of linear algebra the first concept we should use here that is number one the eigenvalues of a real symmetric matrix are all real this is a well known result we all know that and uh, also number two concept is matrix is diagonalizable we all know that diagonalizable even only algebra multiplicity of an eigenvalue is equal to geometric multiplicity this is another one now and also this is also a subsequent result symmetric matrix means diagonalizable symmetric plus real this implies this is also result is diagonalizable diagonalizable we can use any two one result between these two so now given that a is a real n by n symmetric matrix such that all eigenvalues are uh, no repeated eigenvalues that means and given since a is real and symmetric so clearly a is diagonalizable there is no problem also you can uh, check from the eigenvalues since the a has distinct eigenvalues then the algebraic multiplicity corresponding to each eigenvalue is one and also geometric multiplicity is also one therefore am equal to gm is also holds here since all the eigenvalues are distinct therefore number of eigenvectors in the eigen space corresponding to each eigenvalue is one Therefore, we can say that a m equal to g m. So, a is diagonalizable. There is no problem of diagonalizability of a. Now, if we uh, show that the b is real matrix given, if we uh, show that b is symmetric, then b is also real plus symmetric, then b should be diagonalizable. Now, we should given that a b equal to b a a b equal to b a is given now the order of the matrix n there is no restriction on the order of the matrix therefore we can take n equal to 2 here for our calculation is to be easy so now let us take a is the matrix a 1 1 a 1 2 since a is symmetric so we take a is symmetric matrix a 1 2 and a 2 2 and b is a 2 by 2 matrix b 1 1 b 1 2 b21 and b22 now we apply ab equal to b this implies uh, a11 a12 a12 and a22 into b means b11 b12 b21 and b22 this is equal to b11 b12 b21 b22 into 
ए वन वन ए वन टू ए वन टू एंड ए टू टू नाउ इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई एंड कंपेयर एलिमेंट वाइज ऑफ दिस टू मैट्रिक्स फॉर द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन मैट्रिक्स इज इक्वल टू ए वन वन बी वन वन प्लस ए वन टू बी टू वन इज इक्वल टू द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट दैट इज वन वन एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स आफ्टर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज इक्वल टू बी वन वन ए वन वन प्लस बी वन टू ए वन टू सो कैंसिल बी दिस टर्म फ्रॉम बोथ साइड सो दिस गिव्स ए वन टू बी टू वन दिस इक्वल टू ए वन टू बी वन टू दैट मीन्स इफ वी कैंसिल आउट ए वन टू फ्रॉम बोथ साइड दिस गिव्स बी टू वन इक्वल टू बी वन टू दैट मीन्स बी टू वन इक्वल टू बी वन टू मीन्स द मैट्रिक्स बी इज ऑल्सो सीमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स नाउ यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर एन इक्वल टू थ्री फोर एंड सो वन एनी अदर डिग्री सिंस देर इज नो रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन एन सो फॉर द कैलकुलेशन इज टू बी इजी आई टेक हियर एन इक्वल टू टू यू कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट फॉर एन इक्वल टू थ्री बट इन दिस इन दैट केस द कैलकुलेशन बिगर देन दिस स्टेप सो वी गेट बी इज रियल एंड सीमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स दिस इम्प्लाइज रियल सीमेट्रिक मीन्स बी इज ऑल्सो डायगोनलाइजेबल एंड दिस स्टेप वन एनदर कॉन्सेप्ट you can apply since a is diagonalizable therefore we can choose uh, i choose here a is a simple symmetric matrix also this step can be done by choosing a equal to diagonal of lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda n in that case you also get the same relation and you also get the matrix b is to be diagonalizable i use the concept here you can also use this concept also for to show that a b is diagonalizable therefore the option c is first correct b is also diagonalizable and also option a is also correct that means this statement is true and this statement is true since b is real symmetric therefore eigen values of b are also real there is no problem now for option b we use a result the result or a theorem you can say the theorem is a theorem a theorem which is if a and b are diagonalizable diagonalizable we already get b and a are both two matrix are diagonalizable they say are the eigen values sorry eigen vectors matrix that means the matrix uh, which is formed using the eigen vector matrix is if and only if ab equal to ba this condition is given in our problem and we all uh, a is diagonalizable since a is real symmetric b we uh, prove that b is also diagonalizable then this theorem holds ab equal to b already our uh, ab equal to b condition given that means every eigen value of a is also an eigen vector uh, sorry every eigen vector of a is also an eigen vector of b from this result this result is also true and this result as a reference book you can use the book linear algebra and its application by gilbert strang in this book the chapter eigen values you find this theorem and if you want to prove of this theorem you also get the proof in this book here for this question i suggest this book for Uh, this theorem and proof now go to the next question question number 32 the question number 32 says that for a from 0 1 to r the real valued function on an open interval 0 1 uh, there are two statements a and b suppose that f is uniformly continuous then the image under a of a cosy sequence is a cosy sequence and b result that suppose that for every cosy sequence in 0 1 it's under uh, its image under a is a cosy sequence 
then f is uniformly continuous that means in a it is given that uh, a f ko uniformly con continuous bol diya hai and uh, then it says that uh, image of a cosy sequence goes to a cosy sequence and in b it says that uh, image of a cosy sequence in g1 goes to image of a cosy sequence then f is uniformly continuous for this to result we use two theorems the theorem number one says that let d subset of r and a function a from d to r b uniformly continuous these two result uh, directly based on two theorems uniformly continuous on d if xn is sorry if xn b a cosy sequence then cosy sequence in d in d then a f of x n that means the image of the sequence x n f of x n is also a cosy sequence therefore here simply d equal to interval 0 1 which is a closed inter open interval and boundary interval so this result a statement a is clearly true now for b we again use a theorem the theorem says that let d subset of our same theorem the converse of this, this theorem the above theorem be a bounded set bounded set and a from d to r here d equal to 0 1 which is bounded set be a function if for each cosy sequence x n in d in d the sequence sorry the sequence f x n the sequence f x n is a cosy sequence that is yapar bulai ke x in as a image of a cosy sequence is a cosy sequence cosy sequence in r then f is uniformly continuous on d d here d is equal to 0 1 which is clearly a bounded set when 0 1 infinite but bounded set that means the result b is also true by this theorem and for these two theorem i refer reference real analysis book by sk mapa you can check the proof of these two theorems to get this proof of these two theorems in this book sk mapa chapter continuity average continuity so these two statements are also true statement to get these two uh, theorems and proof also in this book now go to the next question question number 39 question number 39 a says that summation n greater equal to 1 root under n by n converges for every sequence n of positive real number such that the series n is converges so here pe bola hai ki series n convergence then if this series convergence this this series is also convergent is it true or false so this statement is false 
if we take an example a of a n which is convergent and if we uh, show that this sequence is divergent then our assumption that is the statement is false so now let us take a n equal to 1 by n log n square now we apply uh, to test this series n is uh, convergent or not is Fossey condensation test Fossey condensation test says that if n is a decreasing sequence and this n is again uh, a decreasing sequence of positive real number then positive real numbers then the two series summation n and summation 2 to the power n and a 2 to the power n converge or diverge together this is the Cauchy condensation state therefore a 2 to the power n into 2 to the power n this is equal to 2 to the power n into 1 by 2 to the power n into log of 2 to the power n whole square this is equal to 2 to the power n 2 to the power n, can, n cancel 1 by n log 2 1 by n log 2 whole square this is equal to 1 by log 2 whole square into 1 by n square therefore the series summation 2 to the power n a 2 to the power n this is equal to uh, 1 by log 2 square summation 1 by n square and this series is clearly convergent therefore this is also convergent that means and this series so, so this series is convergence convergent therefore summation n is convergent now uh, the given series is root under n by n now root under n by n is equal to root under 1 by n into 1 by n log n square this is equal to simply 1 by n into log n so summation root under n by n this is equal to summation 1 by n log n and which is clearly divergent series to check whether it is divergent or not if we apply p test uh, the p test says that 1 by n log n power p is convergent if p greater than 1 and divergent if p less equal to 1 so this series is clearly divergent series therefore the statement is clearly false now to show that this b says that series n by n root under n by n converge for every sequence n of positive real number such that the series is convergent that means a given a key summation n convergence then the series is convergence now for this we apply a simple and general concept of mgm and comparison test we all know that for any two positive real number am is greater or equal to gm take two positive real number Yeah, n and 1 by n square given that n is a uh, sequence of positive real number so these two terms are positive so we apply now m greater equal to gm so m means n plus 1 by n square these two terms by 2 which is greater equal to square root of n into 1 by n square so this is equal to a n by 2 plus 1 by 2 n square which is greater equal to clearly root under n by n now if we take uh, summation both side then we get summation n by 2 plus summation 
1 by 2 n square which is greater equal to summation root under a n by n now this gives 1 by 2 summation a n plus 1 by 2 summation 1 by n square which is greater equal to summation root under a n by n now this series is convergent given and this series is also convergent since by p test p greater than 1 p equal to 2 which is greater than 1 by p test this is also convergent and since by applying comparison test if u n less equal to v n we all know that if v n is convergent then u n is also convergent therefore same thing apply here comparison test by comparison test summation put a n by n is convergent so this completes the proof the second statement is clearly a true statement so in this video this is the content if the content is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt leave me a comment in the comment section below thank you friends see you again in the next video